We're going to create a brand new project for us. Uh, we're going to make sure on, we're on the Blueprint tab, and we're going to use the third person template. Then we're also going to make sure that starter content is enabled so that we have some assets to play with. And let's give our project a better name than my project. And then once you've done so, go ahead and hit Create Project. So let's go over to the File menu, and let's create a new level. We're going to use the default. To get started, let's build a simple room uh, that we can place a light inside of, uh, and then we'll turn that light on uh, through Blueprint Visual Script. So to do that, let's hop down to the content browser down here. We're going to go up to the Starter Content folder and go to the Architecture folder. Uh, so let's grab this wall door, uh, 400 by 300, just left click, and drag that into the level like so. Uh, if you hold down the right mouse button, you can control the camera inside the viewport. While holding down the right mouse button, if you hit W, you will move forward. If you hit S, you will move back. Q moves you down, and E moves you up. Translation tool allows us to move uh, our widget, or move our uh, actor. Door piece here is kind of off the floor a little bit. Quick little handy tip. If I move my piece way up into the air like so, and I hit end on my keyboard, it's going to snap it down to the floor to it for us. I'm going to grab this wall 400 by 300. Just going to left click and drag that into our level. E on our keyboard. It's going to enter us into rotation mode. Blue arc here and rotate it to the right so that it moves in that direction. So I'm going to rotate it 90 degrees like so. Then I go back to translation mode by hitting W on my keyboard. And now we can move this piece over and just line it up with the edge. If you hold down Alt on your keyboard and you grab this red area here and drag it to the left, it's going to drag out a copy for us. So grab this green arrow, just move it along to the back like so. Down in the content browser, if we make sure that our... If we go to the details panel now on the far right, under static mesh, you can see the one that we are currently using. In the content browser, go ahead and click it, and bam, it swaps out that piece for us. Now we have four walls, one of them with an opening. So I'm going to hold Alt again and grab this blue arrow and drag a piece up into the air like so. Then I'm going to hit E on my keyboard to go into rotation mode and grab this red arc here and just drag it down a little bit, 90 degrees like so. Now you can see this piece doesn't quite fit. We can hit R on our keyboard to enter scale mode. And just as before, we can grab any of these widgets and scale it in any direction. We're just going to take the blue one here and drag it to the left. Uh, now all we need to do is add a light inside of here. So let's go ahead and do that. We can do that by going to the modes panel over here and make sure that we are on the basic tab. And there you go. Right there is a point light. We can just left click on it and drag and drop that into our level like so. And we can place it uh, inside of our room. How do we turn this light on and off? We don't actually know. So uh, if we go to the Details panel, there's all kinds of settings for this light. We could change the light color. We could change its intensity, uh, et cetera. But if we scroll down a little bit and we go to the Rendering section, so here's the Rendering section, there's an option for Visible. It's currently checked. If we uncheck this, watch what happens to our light in the level. It turns off. So this is the property that we want to affect through Blueprint Script. Where do we get started with Blueprint Script? Well, if we go to the toolbar at the very top, there's an option for Blueprints. If we click this button, open the Level Blueprint. What that's going to do is open the Blueprint Editor interface. So right now we have the light selected in our level here, and then right-click in the graph. Now we can see we have the option to access that particular point, point light. So if we choose this, create a reference to point light, go ahead and select this, it's going to add a node to our graph. Now we know through Blueprint Visual Script that this particular node is talking about this particular light in our level. <clears throat> we can do so by dragging off of our point light here. So there's a pin here. If we left click and drag off of it, you can see it's telling us it's, it's going to place a new node when we release the left mouse button. It's going to give us the context menu. And look at the very top. It says Actions taking a point light reference. So now our menu is filtered. So now if we search for visible, or as we start typing, even as we start typing, if we enter in, say, V-I-S, for example, look at, we get options for that rendering. Uh, we're just going to choose the toggle visibility light component here. And once you select it, it's going to add some nodes to our graph here. So it's added the toggle visibility node. It's also added a uh, light component uh, node here. And we now have the functionality to toggle the visibility of our point light, or the light component of our point light. That sounds a little bit more like what we're after. So I'm going to take this node and just drag it over here, 
left click and just drag it over. And I'm going to take this toggle visibility here and just drag it up just a little bit like so. And what we're going to do now is take the output pin, the executable here, just left click and drag and plug that into our toggle, visi toggle visibility. So with our script currently set, we are saying when event begin play uh, is called, whenever we start our game, this node will get executed. First thing it's going to do is hop over to our toggle vis visibility and it's going to call this. It's then going to get the target that it's supposed to be affecting, which is our light component. And the light component is targeting our point light. So in essence, our light should get turned on when we play. So let's compile. And then let's actually hop over to the drop down here next to play. Because I'm going to simulate this instead of actually playing. So I'm going to click this drop down here and I'm going to go to simulate. So when I click this, uh, in the background, our level will be simulated, our light will come on. Uh, but I want to simulate because I want to show you something else here really quickly before we wrap up this video. So if I hit simulate, boom, our light is on in our level. And also, you may have noticed it, the event begin play was fired and you can visually see it being executed. If I stop and I hit play again, watch this, these two nodes here. You know what, actually let's close this blueprint. I'm going to click the X mark here to close it. Click this drop down. Let's play in the selected viewport here. So you can see our light is on. Our player character is affected by our light. Uh, in the next video, we'll turn this into a toggle so that the light can turn on or off instead of just on. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you in the next video.